Hey guys, I want to make a video. I want to show you my new acquisition here. Uh, something I've been wanting a lot. Uh, but first I want to tell you that uh, apparently Federal has a recall on some of their 45 ACP ammo. And we'll leave a link down here to Guns and Gears video on it. And he gives all the information about it. And that's one of the good things about being on the YouTube gun can, uh, channels. Is you get a lot of information. Find out a lot about guns. But this is important. I got several people sent me PMs this morning about it. So go check it out. Because uh, apparently it's pretty bad overload on these 45 ACPs. They uh, apparently had a police firing range in Virginia they had one of the guns explode from the uh, overcharged 45 ACP so it's nothing to mess with just make sure you go over there and check it out like I said I'll leave a link to Guns and Gears video and I'm sure there'll be others but uh, I would check out Vans because he put in all the information there that you need to know about alright okay I've been wanting this gun for, well, since I was a little kid. I used to watch the show Wanted, Dead or Alive, with Steve McQueen. Uh, I know a lot of you guys don't even know Wanted, Dead or Alive. It was a cowboy show in the 50s. And Steve McQueen played Josh Randall, and he was a bounty hunter. And uh, he used to take people in that were wanted of course and uh, but he did it in such a way that he didn't take them in dead it was supposed to be one of those shows that showed you the good always wins like they did a lot in the 50s well back in the 50s just about every western had some kind of a gimmick type gun and this was his he called it the mare's leg and his was and 44-40 caliber and on his you can see here on his cartridge belt here the actual rounds that he has in there were 4570 to give the impression that the rounds are even bigger but the, the little sawed off rifle he used shot 44-40 from what I've read and uh, it's put out by Rossi and they just started putting this out. There's another company, I think it's, uh, oh, I can't remember the name off the top of my head, Puma or somebody that puts out this rifle. There's a couple of people that put it out. But I looked them up, and they want like $1,600, $1,700 for it. Where the Rossi MSRP is about $536. And I went and found it in the gun store for $4.29 brand new in the box and that's what it comes with is a box and a little firearms owner's manual and there's not a whole lot of information in there I'll tell you the truth it's pretty scarce but uh, that's all it comes with now they they have this gun available in 44 Magnum 357 Magnum and 45 Colt. This happens to be 45 Colt, 45 long Colt, and uh, that's the caliber I really wanted in this Western type rifle. So I got it. As you can see, it's short. The barrel length is 12 inches. The whole overall length of the rifle is 24 inches. To give you some idea, I put this knife next to it, and it's a big knife, but you can see. The rifle ain't much bigger than a knife, and uh, it holds six rounds plus one in the chamber, so you got a total of seven rounds. Uh, it's very important to know that you can't take like your own lever action rifle and do this. You'll go, you'll be in a lot of trouble. That uh, you'd have to get a lot of forms, fill them out. Um, you just can't do that. It's against the law totally, so don't try that at home. They get away with it because they build it right in the factory from scratch, just like this. Now, let's show you the sights. Got a brass bead on the front. Regular sight there. 
and there's the saddle ring. Of course, the oversized lever handle. The ring there. Saddle ring right here. You can see it. There's the safety. The gun is unloaded. There's safety and fire. That's safe. That's fire. And you can see, hopefully, right there when that pops out. See that work. And this is the other side of it. And the wood on it is Brazilian wood. And the blooming seems to be pretty darn good on it. The butt plate is metal. Is it a practical gun? No. Not by any means is it practical, but it sure is going to be a fun gun to shoot. I can't wait to get out and shoot it. But uh, another thing is to get a chance, check out that Wanted Dead or Alive. They still have them out on DVD and you can check them out. And uh, you might like this little gun. It's a lot of fun to shoot. I know it is because I've watched some videos and I've seen seen it in action it looks like a lot of fun so I'm going to take it out next week and shoot it with some other guns but uh, if you get a chance and you see them in the store check it out you might enjoy this gun I know one of my friends here crazy 45 cat Jerry he really likes this gun he's going to get himself one I think real soon too so I just happened, happened to be lucky enough to run into it and I bought it and uh, there it is. Hope you enjoyed looking at it as much as I do owning it. And again, check out Guns and Gear. And make sure you check out that video. And check through your ammo. Make sure you don't have any of that federal 45 ACP ammo. Alright guys, thanks a lot. You'll be seeing this again again. Thanks.